Hey everyone, The Everyday Collector here. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Glad you can make it. Today I have another great unboxing, Hot Toys TMS-007, The Mandalorian. This is the pre-Beskar outfit. These photos that I've seen online are absolutely stunning of this figure. Hot Toys knocked it out of the park. I'm glad you guys are here so we can unbox this together. If you haven't already done so, hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get started. All right, let's get started with the box art. Typical Star Wars design that Hot Toys has given us again. Uh, we get the black and gray texture color here and the band around the box, which is nice. And then you get the portrait of the figure in the center of the box. Again, Remnant Trooper came like this. Uh, if, you, if you're doing a wall, in the background of your figures with the boxes. It's great because they'll all match. So that's cool. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes. So after we remove the lid, we get this art flap of the figure, which looks great. You get to see all the details of the figure close up. It looks awesome. I'm excited to get into it. All right, so here we are. Here he is. Let's pull him out and get started. Okay, great. So typical clamshell again with this figure. Over here we have Some of the accessories. Let's start with that. So over here we have four extra hands. This is a left hand that'll hold the gun. Really nice job. I like the detail on the armor plate. Looks really nice. I would have liked to see, I like the two-tone glove that they've done here, but I would have liked to see some weathering on the fi fingers here. They're just a clean orange yellowish. Some weathering would have been great. And that goes for the other hands as well. There's a closed fist with the armor plate. This is just the open hand uh, where you can hold uh, one of the accessories and we'll get into that further along the video. Okay, very similar to the other hands. Another closed fist hand. Okay. You also get the mine that you can throw, which is nice to a nice touch. You can put that on his belt. That's nice to have. And you also have the tracking device that he uses to find Grogu. And that's what that open hand was for. You can have him hold the tracking device. Nice job. I like the detail they put onto this. Almost like a coiled antenna here. Nice touch. All right, let's keep on going. So we'll start with this really nice Stormtrooper helmet. It looks all battered up. You got the blood, a lot of dirt wear. It looks really awesome. 
They did a great job with the detail. You can see the lenses are full of sand, dirt. Just an awesome job. Inside you don't have any, any detail. Would have been nice to see. Maybe the inside of the helmet completed, but that's a really nice touch. Give you a 360. That looks really good. And you have here his blaster. looks really nice. No moving parts on this blaster. That looks really nice. And here you have his main rifle. This is awesome. This looks really, really, really awesome. Lots of detail throughout the rifle. You got some wood grain on the wood here. I love the detail on the tip where it looks like it's the metal's been heat up after use. You get some blue leading them to some rose and gold. So it looks like it's been heating up after you shot it. Just an awesome job. You have this pleather strap here and you really wanna be careful with this. So this piece here will go into his suit he has a, a band here and it's inserted right here. And you wanna be careful with this plastic piece because there's been cases where this is broken off into the hole. So you wanna be careful with that. The other really nice thing is this scope comes off. So you can have him hold this so that it looks like in the show when he was looking through it in the mountains. That's awesome. So overall, yeah, I'm really happy with the rifle. Other than the removable scope, it doesn't have any moving parts, but it's, it's definitely a must accessory. Uh, and some great posing shots you can get with this. Well, let's keep going. So here you have the two spikes that are used for the base through the stormtrooper's head. And I'll show you guys a little bit more of that a little later on in the video. the shoulder pad that's removable it has velcro here so this is the right shoulder pad screen accurate uh, to the show before he gets the upgrade love the blue the paint application is amazing on this piece the weathering Perfect blue transition from blue to that cream color. Just phenomenal. And the weathering is just spot on. Okay. Before we get into the figure, we're gonna have a look at the base. And 
And actually, before we get into the base, I wanted to show you the rifle. Comes with this blue, this is almost like a blue, it's a plastic, soft plastic. Um, but it, it's supposed to give that look of a shot being fired. Which is a nice touch. That'll add a pop of color to your to your display. That'll look really good. This is wasn't necessary, but definitely a nice touch to add. Now, getting into the base, we have the that sand textured base with the logo and the name Star Wars The Mandalorian. You get the two footprints. I know a lot of people weren't fans of the, the base, but it is a nice texture. It would have been nice to get something a little bit more intricate. But again, the detail is great. All right, so now let's get into the figure. I think he looks really, really well done. The detail overall, the colors, the weathering is all great. This is the, where I was mentioning where the rifle, the, the peg inserts. You really want to be careful here when inserting the peg, just because there have been cases where that little piece of plastic has broken off. And you don't want that happening. The overall outfit, the helmet, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. With the weathering. In the crevices of the helmet, you can see that pitting. They just did, they went above and beyond gorgeous figure you have all the pitting and weathering and damage throughout all the armor plates the chest plate the thigh plate you can see the it's been in battle and taking a lot of shots awesome and you have here this plate that's removable this can be removable and then you can place this plate here. And again, it's all done by Velcro. That looks awesome. Going down to his boots, amazing weathering, covered in mud, weathered. Really happy with how it turned out. You get all this detail here and accessories. Along with on the waist. This is the spot where we can place this here. Awesome. I would have liked to see it magnetized. It kind of just sits here. It would have been great to have it magnetized so you know that it's secure. You don't want to be careful with that. The belt, the pouches. You have his pleather gun holster here. And again, all the detail goes into the back, even the, the back plate. It has all this pitting and weathering. Awesome job. The, the fabric of the outfit is well tailored, well stitched. And the cape. The cape is, it just looks really, really well done. You have some holes here to show the use. 
great texture. At the bottom you can see how it's torn. They really did an awesome job. Really happy with them. Yeah, so overall the figure really comes with some nice accessories. I'm gonna get him posed up and we can have a look what he looks like on his base with some of the accessories set up and uh, with his rifle in his hand. See how that turns out. All right, let's get right into it. All right, everyone, so I, I have him here all posed up with some of the accessories. And let me tell you guys, this figure is an absolute stunner. I love it. If you're a Mandalorian fan, please check this figure out and consider adding it to your collection. Hot Toys just knocked it completely out of the park. The details on the outfit and the cape and the, the base and the armor, this figure on a shelf will pop and command attention. Super excited to have him as part of my Mandalorian display. Now, a few things to mention. Um, so uh, some good things are, again, just look at the, the detail of the cape here, the way it bunches up around the neck. It looks really awesome. And, and again, all the armor, the fact that it's detailed and and you can see that it has weathering and it's pitted and it's just awesome. Same with the helmet. So a few things that I would like to mention, when you're setting up the Stormtrooper helmet on the base, just be careful uh, when you're putting the spike through the helmet on the inside, there isn't any styrofoam or anything to protect the paint job of the spike so just don't push it too far in because uh, you can damage possibly the paint of the spike so i would like to see some foam there or something just to protect the um the paint job and again th and this is what i was referring to when in regards to the peg for the holster of the of the rifle that little piece there i didn't push it all the way in just because I don't want it to break off. So you can see here that I left it just a tad sticking out. Again, your choice, I just, I didn't want to take any chances. Overall, just one of my favorite figures released to date. An absolute stunner. Now, the only other thing I would have liked to see come with this figure uh, I know the best car version that Hot Toys released is coming with it. Uh, with the Grogu and the Pram, he should have come with Grogu and the Pram. And the also the, the extra Beskar, uh, the Beskar container with the Beskar in it. Those, I, I truly believe that should have been accessories that came with this figure. Uh, now I'm, I'm sort of forced to purchase the Beskar figure to get those accessories so that I can pose the accessories with this figure, which is a smart on Hot Toys' end because they're gonna get their sales. But being a collector and, and what we're paying for these figures, I think that it would have been the cherry on the cake to add the Pram and, and Grogu to this set. But yeah, guys, overall, I'm super, excited with this piece and I, I hope you enjoyed the review if you haven't already done so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button uh, really enjoying getting you guys these reviews and, and i'm gonna keep keep putting out a lot of content so you guys can see what these figures look like out of the box and you can make a decision for yourself on whether you want to add them to your collections so i've been having a super time super great time uh doing these reviews and unboxings and I really hope you guys are enjoying them so hit that like and subscribe button and support the channel it's uh, great to be part of the community and and I appreciate all the support 
And uh, don't forget to leave a comment. If you guys have any questions, any comments, any advice, be more than happy to hear it. You guys are all awesome. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, everyone.